Jesus Christ, and today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible Bible title is Let My People Go. The Plugas and the Passover. Let's read. Moses and Aaron told Paro, the God of the Israel says you must let the people go free. Otherwise, bad thing will happen. But Paro would not listen. So, like in yesterday's story, God said to let his people go free. So, Aaron and Moses has gone to Paro and said, let my people go. Otherwise, like, in these trip, there will be many bad things happening. But every time when he said, Paro did not listen. So God turned the water in Egypt into the blood. No one could drink it. Then he filled the Egyptian houses with frogs. Frogs were everywhere. Still, Paro would not listen. So God turned the water blood. So no one could like shower or drink the water because all the water was changed to black. And then like then the frogs were everywhere. We have found the Bible jam. Like, a room. But in the picture, yeah, it is very cute. But if this is, uh, if in our house the frogs are everywhere, then we will, like, hate it. The frogs are everywhere, you can see. So God filled the skies of Egypt with good. They covered the people like dust. Then he struck the land of Egypt with flies. Still, Paru would not listen. So God filled the sky, Egypt, with the like fly scans. And, uh, like, and also it was surrounding the person like dust. Mm, I will hate that. Like then like, flies are everywhere. Like everywhere from me. You know, Wait a minute, the question. Question, Paro let God's people go after all of the water in Egypt was turned to blood. False. Paul, Paro was kept not listening. So God killed the animals of Egypt, horses, donkeys, camels, sheep, cow, and goats, all lie. Then, he covered the Egypt pe Egyptian people with sorrows. So Paro would not listen. Then another bad thing happened. Like all kind of animal 
got killed the animals of Egypt or horse, donkeys, camels, sheep, cows, goats. All died and now there were Jesus on their body. I will not see this. this. <laughs> God sent hell to crush the crops of Egypt. Their barley and flax were destroyed. Then he sent Lucas to eat what fruit remained. Still, Paro would not listen. So, like, he now got sent to hell to crush the crops. Like, the so crops were, they couldn't eat the crops because of the hail. And, like, when hail stopped it, the people was finding the food to eat. Like, they found it. But, like, now, Lucas came and ate the last crops and they're eating the like fine and like almost like the crops they're everywhere <laughs> and eating the these things God sent the darkness over the land, but again, Pharaoh would not listen. God said, I will kill every firstborn son in Egypt. <coughs> and all the firstborn of the animals. So God decided to like kill the firstborn animals and the firstborn sun. Like also the darkness came and God killed the firstborn animals and firstborn suns. Hmm. Question what happened to Egypt first the first time Paru would not let the Israel go number three the water became to blood. My people must kill a lamb, eat it, and put its blood on the doorpost. Well, see, the blood and pass over their houses. Those children will not die. So the people, Israel people, must kill a lamb and paint it with their blood on the dust post and eat the lamb. Where's the dog? You will call this Passover and always remember it. The Israel obeyed God, but the Egyptian firstborn son <coughs> was dead. Even Paro's son that has died. Finally, Paro listened. He let 
the Israel go. Like first time if he obey God, like let their people go. Then like Paro son will not die. Bad things happen to Egypt because Pharaoh would not let God's people go. True. Yes, today Earth the Bible story did it enjoy and next time I will read another good stories. Then let's see you next time. Bye!